Hey there, I'm Luann Stropoli, founder of Inspirational Leading Academy. I'm an Amazon number one bestseller and I help people take the stop out of their start. Today we're going to talk about taking the stop out of your start in the mornings. Now I am not a morning person. Never have been, never will be. My mom said that when I was born, I immediately from the very beginning had my nights and days all mixed up. Then as a young musician growing up in our home, I would practice piano late into the hours of the night after everybody else had gone to bed. As I grew into a professional musician, I was expected to be at my peak perfection performance mode between 8 and 10 p.m. at night. So waking up early and happy with energy was not my thing, ever. But I've had to learn over the years that sometimes I really do have to shift my schedule so that I'm alert and wake in the mornings. And I've developed a few techniques to help me do that. And I wonder if it might help you as well. So a couple things. The night before, I do several things. One, I lay out my schedule. So I know when I go to bed that I've laid out exactly what I have to do for the next day. I know probably my priorities. I know the other little things that I have to do. Say, you know, like go oh, what errands I have to do, what letters I have to write. And I even have a blocked out schedule for the day where I plug in those priorities so I make sure I get them done. Second, and I'm not always very good about this, but I try to end my day with some quiet time and some reading of an actual book. And I have a couple books that I read where I only read actually one or two pages each night because the books are so thought provoking and so focus oriented that that's all I really need to go into a nice sleep. Oftentimes I'll meditate at night before I drift off into my sleep and that helps a lot too. All right, that's the night before. And the morning of, several things I do. First thing that has made the biggest difference for me is that I've created a beautiful alarm. Now I used to have an alarm that would go off and I hated the sound of that alarm and therefore I would hate waking up because it would jostle me every morning. So I went through and I took some music that I love and you've heard it on different videos that I've done and I put some words to it. So I'm just gonna play the very beginning for you. You recognize this music. It's so pleasant and upbeat. Rise and shine, dear one. It's time to start a brand new day. So I start off by calling myself a lovely, affectionate name. And then I talk about, it's time for a brand new day. It's time for new courage, new adventures. And I go through the whole three minutes of this song. And I use words that I want to describe my day and that I want to describe me. And I wake up excited to hear this little message that I've created for myself. And then after I hear that message, I give myself a few minutes to just take it in and relax. And in that relaxation time, I often try to remember to list three things for which I'm grateful in my life and three things I'm grateful for what I expect to happen in the day ahead. The other thing I do, I always make sure I exercise, almost always, very first thing. So I have a routine. I, after my little quiet time in the morning, I get up, I empty my bladder, I immediately put on my workout clothes. Sometimes I'll check in on social media real quick. Oftentimes I'll go straight to my workout and I also know with my workout exactly which workout I'm doing that day. So I don't have to fish around, I don't have to figure out what I'm doing. I know before I get up what that workout is gonna be. And when I start my day with this beautiful song, with gratitude, with quiet time, with my workout, I can pretty much take on any challenge that comes my way throughout the day. Well, I hope those few tips help you also to take the stop out of your start in the mornings so that you can come down the stairs energized, focused, ready, happy, filled with joy and happiness for the day ahead. As we say in our academy, be inspired, be inspirational, and be a leader. You're changing someone's life simply by being you.